Okay, so today we are going to be looking at rounding. We're going to be rounding to the nearest 10, nearest 100 and nearest 1000. And we are going to use our number lines just like we practiced back in the autumn term in school. So I've got the number 4982. Now, if I'm rounding to the nearest 10, I need to make sure that I put numbers that have tens on my number line. So 4,982 has eight tens. So at the start of my number line, I'm going to have 4,980. Now, we need to go to the next 10 to get to the end of my number line. So 80 add 10 would give me 90. So at the end of my number line, I should have 4,990. Now, I've marked the number that's in the middle as that will help me to see whether I need to round up or round down. So if my number's greater than 4,985, I need to round up. If my number is less than 4,985, I will need to round down. So we've got the number 4,982, and I can see that that is less than 4,985. So I would mark that around here on my number line. Okay. And if I circle it, I can see that it is closer to 4,980 than it is to 4,990. Now we're going to look at rounding to the nearest 100. So for the nearest 10, <coughs> we put a tens number on our number line. So now we need to put a hundreds number. So 4,900 is going to go at the start of my number line. And then add 100, I would then move to the next 1,000, which would be 5,000. And 4,950 is halfway between those two numbers. So 4,982, we can see that that is greater than 4,950. So I'd put that around here on my number line. I can see that that is closer to 5,000 than it is to 4,900. So 4,982 rounded to the nearest 100 is 5,000. So if we're looking at the nearest 1,000 now, I need to make sure that I have thousands numbers on my number line. So I can see that my number has four thousands. So 4,000 is going to go at the beginning of my number line, and then we need to add 1,000, which would give me 5,000, and that is the end point for my number line. 4,500 is halfway between those two numbers. So 4,982, I can see that that's greater than 4,900, so that would go around here on my number line. And I can see that that is closer to 5,000 than it is to 4,000. So I know that 4,982 rounded to the nearest thousand is 5,000. We're going to have a look at another one together, but you'll notice that this time we have 10,000s in our number. So we're now looking at 27,412. So if I'm going to round this number to the nearest 100, I need to make sure that I've got hundreds numbers on my number line. So I can see that this number has four hundreds. So 27,400 is going to go at the start of my number line. Remember, add 100 to work out which number is going to go at the end. So 400 add 100 gives me 500. And I can see that 27,450 is halfway between those two numbers. So 27,412, I can see that that's less than 27,450. I would mark that around here on my number line. So 27,412, I can see that it's closer to 27,400. So I know that that's what it is rounded to the nearest 100. We're going to put our thousands numbers on the number line together and then I'd like you to have a go at rounding it to the nearest thousand on your own. So I can see that my number's got seven thousands. So I know that 27,000 is going to go at the start of my number line. Add a thousand, 28,000 is going to go at the end. I'd like you to pause the video now and work out what 27,412 
rounded to the nearest thousand years. So we should have marked that 27,412 is less than 27,400 uh, back here on our number line. So 27,412. And you should have identified that rounded to the nearest thousand, it was 27,000. As we can see, it's closer to this end of my number line rather than this end. Okay, let's have a go to the nearest 10,000 together. So I can see that there are two 10,000s in my number. So I know that 20,000 is going to go at the start of my number line. Add 10,000, 30,000 is going to go at the end of my number line. So looking at 27,412, I can see that that is greater than 20,500. So mark that about here on my number line. So 27,412. And we can see that that is closer to 30,000 than it is to 20,000. So I know that my number rounded to the nearest 10,000 is 30,000. On the blog, you'll find your rounding activity where you've got to round to the nearest 10, 100, 1,000 and 10,000. If you've got any questions or want to share your work with me, you can find my email address on the Year 6 class page.